I, I'm going to be honest. I, I've been sitting here for about 20 minutes just staring at my screen, feeling like a little girl that got her American doll on Christmas Day. Someone felt jolly. And I got to say, thank you for the Senjutsu. I'm actually going to make a call out for you on my channel because I, I got to say that the gifts you guys have been giving me, the, the Mantis, the the old reliable, the Senjutsu, I've got some tanks I got to put some time into. And I, I feel horrible because I'm not playing them even though you guys bought me them. You, you guys got me them and I'm, I'm playing other things. Like I put a couple of matches in the Mantis, I put a couple of matches in the old reliable and I'm probably going to put a couple in the Sinjutsu, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make an effort this weekend to grind out these tanks and make a review. Um, I'm going to probably not go for 50 matches a pop. I'm probably going to go for like 25 and just get a fill for them and an idea. But uh, thank you. Today, it, it's just getting better and better. There, there's another tier 4 premium. Chaos, my man. You are an absolute legend. And I got to say... Thank you from the bottom of my heart, dude. This is awesome. You have no idea. Thank you. Anyways, you know what? I'm actually just going to play it. Let, let's play a match live inside the Senjutsu. Let's see how I'm going to perform inside this. My first match, my first impression of this, the Iron Maiden, <laughs> literally the tank that I was looking at inside the store, and I was all like, Iron Maiden is freaking awesome. It's all about that heavy metal and everything else. And I have a question for you guys. Leave it down in the comments. What is the most metal instrument out there? Keep in mind, I jam out the music all day long um this year alone for spotify i think i had like 84 days of straight music listened to i've got multiple studio headphones and i just i jam out non-stop every single day the headphones that you guys have seen me wearing in all my videos um those are srh 1540s i just love to jam out whenever it comes down to it but most metal tool down in the comments i want to i want to hear what your guys's reply is and then i don't know in like two days i'll put my reply inside there that's kind of scary. That's 330 heat pin. Ooh, wow. 15 millimeters of space armor on the front plate. That's actually going to be a little bit nasty. Anyways, she's set up and ready to go, so let's go ahead and jump into a match. Anyways, we're on steps and we're top tier. This is actually going to be really nice. Alright, I'm actually going to be heading on left. Yeah, I'm going to go left. I actually I forgot to look at the gun depression of this. I'm a Muppet. I totally forgot to find out. That looks... They're not common to be 4, 3, 2, 1 anymore. Like, th th this is... 5? 5, 6? I want to say 5. Hold on. Yeah, it's about 5. I'll have to double check after this match. Or I could just look it up on the web. Nah, that, yeah. I'm, I'm just going to play it. I'm just... I'm going to go... No I forgot to look at the hatches. I know the hatches are decent. I saw... I looked at the armor viewer. I looked at a couple of things for the tank. Um... This thing actually, like, 7.44 second reload, and I I should have gave this thing a little bit more of a look whenever they added it, because I, I got the um, M67 uh, Soldier, I believe is what they call it. Oh, here we go. 200 millimeters of armor on the turret. That's not bad. I mean, I three marked. I, I went crazy in a heavy tank with 195 on the gun mantle, so... This actually might be pretty good. It's a balled out turret, so it is easier to pin with heat rounds, but... And 201 standard pin. Oh yeah, that's five. That's definitely five. This is like 430U action. Let's go to T56. Now, I actually do want to get a little bit of a shot out right here. Let's go for... We have engine bay. 288. And I do have a flamethrower, so if I want to annoy the crap out of somebody, I can. I also need to stop playing like a complete and utter muppet. Because I, I, this is the first game. I had a long day. Today was a rough day. And I got to say, I got home and I saw the, the gift pop up chaos, dude. And I was just... I, I, yeah, a little girl. <laughs> That's just absolutely amazing. You, this is one of the greatest communities that, you know, do content for. PC and console. One of the best. However, I do like the fact that the flamethrower is actually... You know, in, an actual weapon swap rather than load in the uh, ammunition. On a five second reload. 
I am struggling a tad bit. I'm playing like a Muppet. Then you get first impression. This de yeah, this is definitely five degrees. Ooh, nice. There's the barrel shot. Oh, that's beyond lovely. Yeah, just being able to swap weapons like that for the flamethrower and back and forth. This feels really good. Wow, it is 10 to 6. I think I'll put another one inside this. Because this, this wasn't a really good match. I mean, I'm also warming up a little bit too, because, oh man. I hit that. My bloom was beyond not there. All right. I am driving on flat land. If you're driving on flat land and you're kind of stabilizing, your gun straightens out, uh, your chances of actually landing on the target are actually really high. It's kind of funny. Whenever I first saw this, I was looking at the Germans like, is it German? Is it Chinese? <laughs> and then I swapped over to Russian. Like, oh, it's Russian. <laughs> Oh, nice. Alright, 229. We got the turret. 352. 320 alpha is really good, and then the reload is 7.4 seconds. This is actually a really comfortable reload for this tank. And that spaced armor on the hull, give it a little bit of an angle, and you're just going to have a heyday. I need to remember that I have a flamethrower. Mm-hmm. That's unfortunate. The 201 standard pin? I should be able to make that work without a whole lot of problems. Alright, not a not a first bad match. Four kills, 24, 2,500 damage dealt. 1,500 assist. Actually, that's not bad at all for the match. 1,530 block. That's actually a decent match. Second class mastery batch. And that was all spotting assist. I wasn't even trying to spot. All right, and Berlin. This is actually probably going to be the match because this is five degrees of gun depression I'm going to be able to use here. City plays. City plays the way that the armor is designed. I do like how they put the 100 millimeters of space armor in the front because a lot of the 100 millimeter frontal armor tanks, uh, like the Type 59, uh, there's a couple of them that that 100 millimeters like it doesn't work super well. It's real easy to pin even whenever they're hauled down. So, with that spaced armor on the front, that's actually kind of nice to have. Makes it a little bit easier to play. Got a low black. Actually, you know what? Let's do a little bit of a cross. Ah, uh, Pantera. Do I want to fire early? Yeah, well... F Ooh, not even spotted. A actually, decent concealment on this. Oh, what was it? 283 with the setup that I'm running? Oh no, the E-75, he's going to get greedy, he's in the front row. If if you're top tier, and you're like one of the very few top tiers, it's actually a really good idea to play middle of the pack. Because if you're front row, depending on the tank that you're in, uh, you could run into a lot of problems just because you're, you're popping out, you're exposing yourself, you know, you're first one in, which means you're going to be the first one shot at. And as soon as you pull the corner... You're, you're a tier 9, which means that people are going to be doing exactly what I'm going to be doing. Um, here's my premium round. Let's go see if we can find this uh, E-75. Because now, you're going to be a hindrance for your entire team on this flank. Because you came over with top tier and everyone's going to be loading premium, wanting to take you out as fast as they can. Which means, I'm also going to be putting premium into all of your buddies. Uh, C-75 is playing pretty good, though. He's playing um, the corner in the back. He doesn't want to rush up. Ooh, that's unfortunate. I should have checked the uh, shell velocity. And the cross shot. I'd have to pull in. Okay. Berlin's a little bit of a newer map for me. I'm still learning it. I don't know all the good spots to go to. Alright, let's test out this 80 millimeters of side armor here. 
You're not who I want to shoot. You are who I want to shoot. That made me jump. Hold on. Okay, that is the uh, 128. Beautiful. Gotta say, I love, love 80 millimeters of side armor. 70 millimeters, on the other hand, is actually the best side armor that you can get. But 80 millimeters, that's just the icing on top for the additional uh, effective armor. Oh, that's unfortunate. The 75 is going to be pulling on my rear. So what I want to do is, if he pulls out too far, I want to be able to punish. Too much of an angle. Stop the Kree vets. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's a low roll. The IS-6 might get me. I am not a big fan of just spraying out the heat rounds, but... No, 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 no. Not what I wanted to do, but I guess it's working out. E75! Oh, it is 73, so I, it, he, he just he just got burned. Uh, no, that that's that turned out okay. And an epic victory! I I honestly hate that score screen. Ep epic victory. That there's nothing epic about winning. You know, like overwhelmed. Like there's can we please just hit, bring back the old victory and just leave it there? All right, well, that's not bad. 2625 dealt and 2500 blocked. I mean, uh, yeah, being able to side scrape inside this is going to be nice. There is a little bit of a ball out on the sides, which means the people know where they're aiming. Aim underneath the turret and you can hit that ball. So that's one of the side scraping weak spots. There's a lot of tanks with side scraping weak spots because of that, but they're very difficult to hit. It's a low chance. It, that, that way it's like it's a punishment, but it's not exactly a uh, consistent punishment. It's kind of funny. It's got me thinking. This thing has got the gun from the old T-54 of 201 standard and then 330 heat pin and the great wall against tier 10s and tier 9s. So, yeah, let's see what we can do on this map. Um, you know what? Mid play. No, no mid play. We're going to be going on the far left. But the, the, the T-54, whenever they buffed it, I, I don't know why they gave it such a massive increase on its standards. I mean, it, it's nice for the free-to-play aspect from 201 to... What was it 268 264 APCR they changed the shell type and then they changed well actually you know what? I gotta check that out I gotta see if it's AP or APCR I'm gonna have to log into it one of these days inside of a custom game and then fire the shell and see if it's white or red and then laugh whenever I see that it's still white which means that you have a really good AP pin uh do I want to go high e you know yeah going high is not bad um, this thing's actually got really good power to weight, and terrain resistance doesn't feel too bad either. The Emil's coming up. There's a light tank already. A low Vanguard. How are you? Oh, T-62A. Got to get that shell velocity with the flamethrower. Right, I'm actually going to back off. We don't want to pull in. Keep some distance. I might load the heat, but I really don't want to rely on heat. Alright, we got a bounce. That actually went far left. I saw it for like a split second, so... Actually hit the auto ricochet of turret. If we land flat on, we should be able to pin the uh, Progetto. T-62A, on the other hand, we're going to have to go for lower plate. Top armor is too strong. Side armor. Beautiful. There we go. I pin, you bounce. Beautiful. And I got track assist off that as well. This is... Oh, I will laugh if this turns out to be a mastery game. I will just giggle my little butt off. 327. We're going to want to be careful in this pole right here. Because I think I saw a 780 right behind him. It's really good penetration on standards. Some poor aiming on my end. Good. 
careful with the hatchets. Let's actually give him a little bit of a side. No. No Vanguard. You are not getting away. Uh, 70 is up top. He's getting punished. If he was playing a little bit better, he would actually try to side scrape back there. Seems like he's not really... I think there's a haul down position back there he could rely on too. Tier 9 kill. There we go. The Trinity pulls out again. Ooh, side turret. Beautiful. 312. I gotta say, 320 alphas is the best alpha category in the game whenever it comes down to reload rates and damage for tier 8s. 360 is one of the worst categories that you can play with, and to give you guys an example, just look at the reload rates of every single 360 um, alpha inside of tier 8, and then compare it to all the 390s, and uh, yeah, you might get a little bit irritated. That's unfortunate, but we're going to park on his side. I do got 30 millimeters of top armor, so I do want to be a little bit careful. Yep, a little bit of a ram there, and all right, and he got he got a good chunky shot in, but that's okay. I, I distracted him with my my body. Is that seven eight? Nope, two six eight version four. That's scary. And then a type four. Yeah, two six eight version four is like I I love to see them on the field. I love playing mine. Uh, I would love to see it get buffed. The only thing that it. it it needs is a uh, power to weight and top speed. Like even power to weight by itself would be enough. Like if that thing got a little bit of a power to weight bump, it would just be absolute god tier. Oh wow, 330 heat pin right in the bottom. He's coming for the kill. He's not gonna get it. He's reloaded. You know what? He's not at an open top tank, but I, I want to annoy him. What better way to annoy somebody than hitting them with a flamethrower? I should have went for the kill, because like, that would have been a lot of experience. That Dude, this tank's not feeling bad. This actually feels really good. Five degrees of gun depression is never a hindrance on a tank. Yeah, 3,000 damage dealt. Uh, 1,185. That's probably due to tracking on the uh, T-62A. And track assist for 1,035, and that's more than likely T62A for 1,035. What did I get? Second class again? What was the experience inside the game? 1653. So this is a 2100 tank. Okay. Gonna have to put some time in to get that one. That's gonna be like a 5,000 damage match to be able to get that. Um, yeah. Chaos. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, man. You are awesome. Everyone... My camera died. Um, this is awesome, man. You have no idea. I th Today was not a fun day. I'm exhausted. I am tired. I got like three hours of sleep and I got home and I was like, I'm going to play a little bit of um, LPC today and I want to get some matches inside the LPC, but I got home and I was just like, I don't want to do any of that. But I logged on, I saw this pop up and the, the only thing that went through my head is, you're awesome. Absolutely. Thank you. Other, other than that, you guys, I, I'll catch you in the next one. Um, someone felt a little bit jolly. Chaos. It, it's, it's that time of giving, and man, you have given. And uh, I feel like I need to give back. So this weekend, I'm going to be grinding out both the tanks that you gifted me, and I'm going to be trying to get reviews out on them. Thank you. See you guys in the next one.